cloud. By the way, uh, so this is the evolution meeting for March 31st, 2021. Is there anyone, do we, uh, who uploads the video, the, the recordings to video, YouTube for the- I do that. Groups? Okay. I do right. that. And I just uploaded a, a ton. So I'm okay. so sorry. I was Oh, no, it's behind. okay. You're going to get flooded with notifications. That's just <laughs> fine. I was just wondering, it occurred to me sometime earlier this week that I wonder if I'm supposed to be uploading those because I don't, I've never figured out how to upload things to our channel. It's a, it's a magic process. It just, it happens automatically. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Except when the magic breaks. And the person behind it is, is out for a bit. So yeah, sorry about that. They're all up oh. there now or, or in the process uh, of being their appendix. They have, they do a copyright check now as well on oh. videos. So, so you had a wizard of pause. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so well, let, let's start with issues. Um, let's start at the bottom. Cycle analytics. A year ago today. Yeah, all year ago tomorrow. A year ago tomorrow. Um, all right, we do this. <laughs> um, These some things, if you just wait long enough, they just take care of themselves. <laughs> That's my personal strategy. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think sometimes that's true. So code changes, ambiguity. Yeah, changes versus commits. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, although, what is the, uh, what does Jesus say? Uh, Jesus always argued for code changes, even though his tools and our tools all say commits. So ah, gotcha. I'm just going to skip past that at this point since it's over a year old. Um, percentage of issues resulting in code changes. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. So I don't, I don't, I think connecting issues to code changes is, is a bit much like you can connect a, you can connect an issue to a pull request and you can connect a, and you can say a pull request was successfully merged or closed, but I think it's a bit much to connect an issue with a code change. It is. Uh, Although I will say I did, uh, I had a paper a year ago where I looked at uh, the merge success of pull requests uh, that were linked to issues and the, uh, the merge success is higher. So that's fun. I'm just saying basically, yeah, you know, you could do it, but it would require practices on the project. And even with PRs being connected to issues, that still requires practices, which are going to differ significantly across repositories. So the likelihood right. of that association being a metric of any consequences, yeah. extraordinarily low. 
Yeah, uh, and I should say the uh, the case that I looked at when I did that was a case where it was part it was part of their design process to actually link issues to pull requests. So it was like stated that that's what you're supposed to do. So line impact. What exactly line impact is? Yeah, I'm looking for that. It seems like an aspirational metric more than anything. But I'm I'm still trying to comprehend what what kind of aspiration is there. I, I think the aspiration is is the code that's changed for the good or for the bad of the project. Uh, this would. Yeah. How do you make that? How do you make that quality assessment? Yeah, they're very vague in this about how you might do that. So I guess I would try to avoid the vague metrics right now and focus on the concrete metrics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although they so they tried to put it in. Here's my stab at completing the metric template. It approximates the cognitive energy invested into each commit made. <laughs> How do you do that? Uh, Also, did he say uh, that they were trademarking? Yeah, they this? trademarked the name, so we would have to we would have to. I was gonna say we are curious. WB Harding, how one really. accomplishes this major or accomplishment in an, any... an objective manner an objective um, consistent manner across thousands tens of thousands to ten Thousands, ten thousand. I mean, really, it's a hundred thousand plus repositories at this point. There's a lot of cognitive energy going into this comment. 
Well, I mean, it's uh, and the answer is like, uh, it's... well, he's asking for chaos team or users to assist in the effort of experimentally confirming. Yeah. Visualizing issues. Uh, so I had a PowerPoint slide back in September. So My opinion is something like that would be a summary of several metrics about pull requests and issues. So Yeah, that seems right. Is there a way to transfer an issue to another repo? Uh, is there? Uh, I created an issue on the common and it was transferred to the risk for evolution, I guess. Joe did it how I don't remember exactly. My uh, guess is copy and paste. No, it's like the full is issue. A, yeah, the full issue was moved to another repo. Uh, Let's click edit the settings. I found the article on the help, but you have to have admin permissions. I do. So Sean does, yeah. So, I think I do still... as well, actually. So settings. That's for the repository. Let's see. Assign. Transfer issue. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to. I've never seen that. Yep. Yeah, I've seen it previously, but I was not sure where that option is. What is that? I'm going to transfer that issue to Augur. I'm going to transfer all my issues to other people. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent idea. So I don't want to deal with it. I'm going to send it to Common. Wait a minute. Did I, so <laughs> I ended up actually on Augur when I transferred that issue. That's hilarious. Metric line. It clears for me a metric line impact. We already looked oh, at this one. Yeah, we did. I think uh, that's the one of the few that I left open. Branch lifecycle. Did we release that? Branch lifecycle. No. Okay. No, we haven't. I don't think we've specifically looked at branch anything. We have. We've had some long discussions about branch lifecycle. I mean, for our release metrics. I don't. I don't think there's any metric that uh, looks at branches. I could be wrong. Branch lifecycle. Yeah, we did release it. We did spent we? spent quite a bit of time. Yeah, here. How I'll link projects? it in the chat. Yeah. How long ago? Oh, was that a is that a recent release? Yeah, I think so. Did, did we, we just, did we did just we... release it? Did we release it? Yeah, I put it in the chat. Yeah. So it's a release metric. Oh, did we just did we just release that this release? Yeah, we would oh. have. Okay. That's um, why I don't remember it because it's new. I have to find. I remember doing a lot of work on it. That's the only reason. Yeah, I, I, 
I remember I, it. I don't remember doing any work on this. So I, I wonder if the was the work out of was the work out of band or was it done? No, it, it was done. Oh, it, it might was, have been done during the during my comps when I was away. Yeah, I think um, possibly that is the case. Um, don't mind. I'm waiting for my result. Oh yeah. So the, uh, yeah. It's like every morning I open the PC. First thing I do is like look at my email. Is the result in or not? Sorry, but not, I forgot. <laughs> Evan, please don't remind such things. <laughs> this is more of a technical issue. Um, basically, the GitHub changed its default branch to uh, main yeah, from, instead of from master, master domain, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, for reasons that are reasonably obvious. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's transfer that to a tool. Uh, which brings me back to, <laughs> when you, they're really kind of brutal about, like if you transfer an issue, you are out of the repo you were doing issues in. Mm -hmm. Add new metrics. One, all right, so Can one PR, help? yeah. If one PR mapping to multiple issues, the PR granularity is too large. If one PR does not have issues, it is abnormal. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I mean, I think this would be a useful statistic. So this is this is the one we, we mentioned, we, we mentioned earlier when we were talking uh, oh. about issues to uh, PR success where uh, the issue link to a PR is a value. I, I think that's a, I think that's a metric. However, taking it to, uh, to merge success is, uh, is a bit too far, but just linking an issue to a pull request, like whether or not that link exists or how many different links exist. I think that is definitely a, a metric. There's a Google Doc for this. Yeah. Okay. It's in the metric spreadsheet too, apparently. Is it yeah. still there? I'm, I'm just going to say, I think this is still idiosyncratic to each repository. You know, it could because it requires an explicit action on the part of the pull request at least either the person who creates the pull request or the person who merges the pull request to make that connection. There's no automated connection between a pull request and an issue. Uh, there, there is, there's, there's no, uh, there's a tool to do it, but it doesn't right. happen automatically. So you can, you can drop a link into a comment and that, and that link is then directly connects that pull request to the, the PR, yeah. Right. If, so you, if you do that. Yeah. So that, so that would be the metric, right? So is there basically the, the metric is, is there a hashtag uh, issue pull request number linked into a comment? Right. Right. But yeah, to Sean's point, if somebody doesn't manually do that, then the data is no good. There's no way to make that connection. So how do we account for right. that? Right. Well, I think we there would be a metric with a caveat. Like this is very in idiosyncratic. Right. And this is really this one really belongs on the web development. What is this one? This is about renaming MD documents shouldn't yeah. Uh just uh transfer. Uh, I don't think you need to transfer because I already have this issue and I'm pretty sure I referenced this. So I just Close it and say this is being dealt with in in uh, the web in the web content group. So I'm already What's linked the repo to on that. Uh, Chaos website.
or content, content. group. Content group is the pe the group, the team. So, Oops. so you could say that. Yeah, content group would be fine. Uh, standardized working group structure. So, so every working group has this, I believe. Yeah, and so we got ours are early. We, are we supposed to do it, or is any intern doing it, or like uh, Google some other code student? I left it? a little. It felt a little ambiguous at the end of the meeting yesterday, to be candid. So there is I a think... pull. There is a pull request by an intern in the PR, uh, and. It does mention this. I don't know what they did. Uh, All right. I'm going to say this is currently being worked on at the chaos community level. Yeah, yeah we had a volunteer that was going through all of the working groups and doing that. Um, yep. But I don't know about actually merging it in, if that's something we are supposed to do or not. So that's a point of clarification. Yeah. Ah, yeah, so there's the, there's the comment. So mentioned this issue 11 hours ago, different folder for completed and underdeveloped, under development metrics. And then I know we've talked about in the past that the, the only metrics that should be in this repo are completed metrics. Under development metrics should only exist in GitHub doc or uh, in Google documents. Yep. So, so there will not be separate folders for completed metrics. We will be, we will be removing any metrics that haven't been released from the repository. So the, 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 the evolution, the working group repository should only contain metrics that have been released yep. or are in the process of being released. Can someone paste a link to the spreadsheet? Uh, so, yeah. Yep, I'm there now actually, so. That way I don't have to leave this screen and go back to the spreadsheet. Of course, I still managed to open the spreadsheet in a new window, so. Okay, how did I end up back here? Uh, okay. Release notes. I think we're done with release notes, right? Or do we leave these open forever? This is just, does this stay open forever? This is the new one. Oh, okay. So this would stay. Yep, I created it to capture any new, new notes for the next release. Yeah, yeah, that's probably, that seems like it's a, an error. It's an interesting, how can, Really? Which one is this? That this is the... issue closed. Um, so I would say that uh, this would be a tool specific implementation problem because we've defined closed issues fairly clearly, right? And it's up to the tool makers to ensure that that status is reflected. Can we look at the document first of this release? Like so, what issues? so the error is that 
that wherever it says active issues there, it should say closed issues. Yeah. Are, are these, yep. oh, is this? Yeah, it's just a. Here's what I found, excuse me, in the, so is this referring to a metric, a metric issue closed? It's just a yeah, yeah. It's, it's typos. Let's, yeah. uh, let's just go look at uh, metrics. Close. It was under closed issue issues closed yeah, that sure. there yep. was. Yep, this one. All right. Yeah, this is no. just a typo. It's, I mean, it's closed across the board. Maybe so refer to that, refer to the same issue number. Yeah, um, what was the issue number? Uh, issue 400. So created a pull request there. Any objections to just merging it? Go for it. I'm confident in the merging because it's linked to an issue. So. <laughs> yeah, let's see, linked issues. Interestingly, it. Yeah. It wasn't. Uh... Oh, so there, I think there are, there are two ways you can link it. So if you you can link it in the comment, and then you can also link it over here on the side. But but this is going to be GitHub specific, right? Yeah. And what does GitHub yeah. do? I don't know. So, it, so I guess if, you... if I think I'd have if I'd have linked the issue before I merged the pull request. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, fixed in pull request number, oops, number 404. I thought and it would it, automatically close that issue. Only if it's yeah. linked, only if it's linked uh, on, the, on the right side where you have linked pull requests. If you just mention it in the comment, it creates uh, a link to a lesser degree where it gets oh. mentioned in the pull request, but it won't close it automatically. Actually, it says link to pull request that will close this issue. 20 seconds. 20, 20 seconds. Ooh, time so is maybe refresh this. <laughs> let me refresh this, yeah. No. So there is a link like milestone, under milestone, there's the one link. Yeah, for, for Although data. It's, it's, uh, it's showing one link to yeah. pull request. All right, I'm just gonna do. Yeah. If for for data collection, I think you you'd have to you'd actually actually grab that explicit link, but then you probably also have to scrape the comments. Yeah. To which, pull out the hashtag number, and that would be the that's probably the two way for GitHub. Yeah. That's how you would that's how you would figure out if it's linked. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So um, I'm going to say the chaos community decided that we are going to remove metrics and development and from the metrics folder and make them part of the spreadsheet. 
Uh, yeah, metrics under development. Yeah, should they should only exist in the spreadsheet and in Google Docs. Only yeah, only released metrics or metrics that are going through the review process for release should exist in the repository. Sorry to interject, um, but I just did a quick Google search. If you type in fixes, then hashtag the issue, that will automatically close it. Oh. That's, that's nice. That's good to know on I GitHub. I wonder how many how many things I don't know about GitHub. I bet you I bet you it's ninety nine percent of uh, what's possible. So then we're just kind of waiting on the the stand. I mean, I guess we're we have to go through and clean up the repository at some point. And then add new metrics label tag is tags associated with PR. Open 12 minutes ago. Um, this, let's see. I mean, we do this in Augur. Um, so we could create a metric for that. Uh, and we may have a metric for that. Let's not even kid ourselves. Let's tag. No. So pull, pull request tags are, are basically, we've done some analysis of this in the risk working group. There's every there's a lot of tags and each repository has its own nomenclature for what they take things as, although there are some ones that are pretty common. And that's a big that's a big problem though, because you can't you can't really compare because they all have their own tags. Well, in the in the case of um, this bag of words. It's, it's like a bag of words, like in Augur, like Kate Stewart and I collected a set of tags for 50 projects. Um, there, were, there, there were common tags across projects. Like new feature, bug. Yeah, so it's, it's really a question of, like we could probably get some Amazon Turkers to identify synonyms mm -hmm. and classify the tags um as as being in the same category so um auger does this already and you know creating a metric around it is i mean it's i think it's a worthwhile endeavor so it'd be kind of tag it'd be kind of a thematic analysis of tags right so you have these, these uh, high level tags thematic and classification i think yeah. so some so you're right some tags are thematic in nature uh, but like bug fixes features, front end features, back end features, API features. Um, Actually, others that might, that might be an interesting paper. Yes, yeah. I have a, I have a written an uh, intro on that. I was thinking of proposing it, to Sean. Like because I when I was joining the risk working group, I saw you and Kat doing this, and I was like, this is a uh, you are collecting entire data. You're doing everything with the less we can like make a paper out of it. So I have, a, I have already written an intro. I might send it to you guys. Um, one thing. To look at it. Labels. So labels are basically tags. I can label yep. an issue. I can label a pull request. This is an interesting one because it applies to both issues and pull requests. Right. Um, code development process. That way we keep it out of issues and pull requests. Yep. Um, although process, code development process quality, it's not quality, efficiency. Might code, be. It's process. Might be efficiency. 
I think it's process quality because it's creating uh, metadata. It, so, and it's creating metadata in the pipeline from issues to pull requests. So it's not directly, so quality or efficiency. It could be efficiency too. It could be uh, efficiency. You can directly point out the, by looking at the label and go to that particular thing. I think I do. I prefer process quality though. I, I think you, I think you were right the first time. So this one, all right, I gotta fix this. Because it doesn't have any of the... There. Sorry, it was like uh, everything was going to break, and so I think uh, another. So that you said, if did you say quality or efficiency at the end, Kevin. I think quality for the for the one we were talking about, not the not the yeah one. yeah. So for for this issue. No, not that issue. This issue, new yeah. matrices. Um, yeah. This one we would, you want under quality or? So it's process, right? So it's development process. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. So process quality. Yes. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> so that duplicate row. Copy. Uh, I don't think we have a name for it. Change request issue tagging. And then there's an issue that is directly is, connected to it. Is it change request and issue tagging? I think so. Or, Let me see what it says. Issue, yeah, literally they say issues and PRs. And I think, I think that's valid because you can take both of them. Um, and this is not in progress. I would call this uh, considering. considering, yeah. Do you, do, you, do you want to put the, the and in there explicitly? Uh, what did I do? Change request and issue tagging. Change requests and issues can both be tagged. Oh, in the name. Oh, okay. What do I have in the name? Change request. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's be, that would be good to have that and in there. All right. That's a good one to consider. Hi, Georg. All right, we've, uh, okay. We have recorded this as an issue being considered. Good idea. ROB. Uh, and then maybe development process quality. All right. Pull requests, we are, we have five minutes. 
Uh, Georg has a comment too in the chat about oh. the standardizing stuff. So. Boom. Yeah, whenever we are ready. Yeah, I, I think wanna... I don't think we're going to get. Uh, we made some. We cleared out our issue queue, and yeah. maybe, um, maybe next next meeting we can clear out our pull request queue. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, let's talk about that, Georg. So, as we discussed in the weekly meeting, we have a proposal for standardizing what our working group repositories look like in terms of where to find certain documents. And we have seen Google Summer of Code students um, starting to submit pull requests to modify our working group repositories in line with the guidelines that we discussed some months ago. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to give us all as a working group here a heads up that this might be coming and we might be seeing a pull request and to reflect on what that would look like and what we expect from from this change. And so I think the biggest change for the evolution working group is going to be moving out these the metrics. metrics from the metrics folder into the focus areas folder. And also deleting metrics that haven't been released. Yeah. So when we put in the focus areas folder, um, are we putting them, I guess they'll be just move the metrics folder here and then unreleased metrics will be oh. moved, either moved to the spreadsheet or killed. I think most of the unreleased metrics in the evolution working group are early versions of the metrics that were renamed and they know they're they're very similar to things that we've released in there. But I think I think Carter did a good job reducing that clutter, but I don't think the reduction's complete. I know we were reticent to delete old versions of commits and things like that, just because there'd been so much discussion around it. Um, so some of these deletions won't move to a spreadsheet that will just go away. Um, so maybe create a folder and a old discussion or like something in that and move it over there. No, I think the I think the point is to to just get rid of it completely so that we remove confusion. So the way, what I'll do is what I suggest is we create, <laughs> we create a branch off of our current master called repo structure standardization, and that that way it preserves the history of all okay. these metrics somewhere and then working in that repository we delete things that are not released um period so create an archive of the current version in a branch that we preserve for the future and then when it preserve, the... pres really preserve for the historical record because yeah, not for the future. The the yeah. evolution working group went through. It was a very active group, and there was a good deal of debate at the very beginning. Intense debate yeah. sometimes, and I don't. And I think so, some of that intense debate is reflected in the metrics that we ended up not moving out. And I don't want to lose that. Like we've we've moved on from it, but I think. I think having that history available uh, is helpful. Okay. Our, pro and our process for it, defining or coming up with metrics now uh, does not include going through this list of metrics and saying, hey, we should do this one. It, it also shows, I, I think it also shows respect for the work that Jesus did early on to, to try to standardize it in, in the way that, that we envisioned initially. And I, I don't want to just wipe that out. Like this isn't code, we're wiping out old code yeah. evaporates. I think this is, I mean, for me, it's more of like an act of respect um, than it is a, um, like a need to preserve, like to need to be a digital pack rat. Because um, mm -hmm. there is a strong history here. <laughs> yes, and I, I recognize the history. And when we go through the, through the Git log, all of that history is there and will never go away. 
and that's true a branch is one way of preserving this another that we have is through the release tags mm -hmm. so if you click on the link i shared in the chat for every release mm -hmm. i'm creating um the um a release tag and i see that back at the in 2020 we or you, Sean, actually created a tag for, hey, before folders clean out, we can just create another tag to tag, hey, we are now changing the structure. Here is what it looked like before, and we can always refer back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, that we've done, okay, so we've done it this way before. Let's, uh, what did I call that branch? And I, I think keeping it in the same Git log history is cleaner than branching it off into a different branch. Yep. And then we might just, confuse where work is happening or whatnot. Yep. I just deleted the branch. <laughs> I think I think that's a that's a that's a good idea. Um, so yep. yeah, we'll just do a release after cleanup. So Okay, any questions about the new proposed structure that the working group would be getting? I think if there's a document, it will help us. Like if there's a document, I can go through and clean it up between now and two weeks. Then documents just posted. This right. is what we've been discussing. Do we reopen uh, the issue we closed? Just for... I don't think we have closed it. We have left. Uh, kept it open. I think no, yeah. we, 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 we closed we, that one. Close yeah. Yep. Yeah. Should we just um, reopen that one just for? Um. I. I. Well, it vaguely alluded to um standardized working group repository structure. This is a good. I think this. I think putting a link to the document that you shared. Okay. As a new okay. issue, we organize repository. Um, yep. Yeah. And that one way, of the, one of the students had already made a list of here are the specific changes that would need to happen. I don't know where that is currently, but I expect. Once we get the PR, we'll know anyway. Yep, that sounds good. Um, I will sit, uh, we are five minutes past. So if that student wants to look, we have an issue for it. And uh, thanks for a productive meeting, cleaning up some, some of our old issue work. And I will catch you all later.